what I've been looking for for hours. Our first alligator of the trip. Knocked off our grill. Grill. So that's in the bottom of the river. So we need to look out for Hontoon Island's venomous trio. Dusky pygmy rattlesnake, the eastern diamondback rattlesnake, and the Florida cottonmouth moccasin. Cheers. To our maiden voyage. I believe the marina. Sometimes it's a little faster. Roll over. Now say right there. Clear. Clear. Go. Clear. Clear. Okay. All right. Have fun. Thank you so much, Dad. Okay, make your turn. All right. Good. Yes. Clear in the back. All right. Thank you so much, Dad. Thank you, Dad. Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you, Ted. If you ever watch this video, you are a savior for us. Leaving this dock, we were so stressful, but you made it so easy. Thank you. Good job, first mate. Thank you. Good job, Captain. If anybody needs help at Astor Bridge Marina in Florida, reach out on channel 16 to Teddy. He may be around, he may not be but he was so much of a help to us. Thanks again. Thanks. Can we please have a 30 second dance party? Yeah. Like yeah. We didn't even into pilings. That was great. That was great. I don't know. 30 second dance parties are now a thing thanks to Grey's Anatomy. Gotta celebrate the little things in life and that is a little thing in life. Yesterday we took a day off from vlogging because docking uh, after Lake George was a challenge and then we took a day off from vlogging. Thought it was gonna be a relatively easy day but we did leave for a pump out, which is in the same marina that we were in. It was just a dock over. So we had to leave and then come back. Well, we talked over our plan about what we're gonna do differently, and we left, and it was a disaster. I hit the piling again, harder, knocked off our- Grill. Grill, so that's in the bottom of the river now. I uh, um, hit the anchor I, another piling. Yeah, the anchor's on that little wooden block. I almost completely wrecked that and the anchor actually hit another piling and it just kind of moved, so I didn't really hit it that hard. And then I just like gunned it and aimed the boat out of there and I think we hit another piling on the way out. Yep. But I would not, other than the, yeah, it was a disaster. It was a total disaster. And, and so then we spent 30 so, minutes so trying to practice before, thankfully, very thankfully, very grateful for this, that Ted got on the radio and called out to us and we were able to um, help us dock, really. Yeah, yeah, help us dock. So him and another gentleman, Philip, um, were kind of our life saviors. And sure. also um, Ted's Ted's wife, um, Jackie, yeah. and, and Julie, and the yeah the um, manager of the marina. Yeah, Julie. they helped us, and oh man, it was tough, but we did it. So, yeah. 30 second dance party. So Celebrate the little things. We just saw what I've been looking for for hours. Our first alligator of the trip. And this one's really big. It's gotta be what, like, what would you say, like 10 feet? Yeah. At least. Could be more. 
Yeah, we're just wow. taking it slow and we're turning back around to see it. Yeah. So as we were circling back around, the gator went into the water. So here's a picture of it if you didn't see it before. See you later, alligator. <laughs> The land bridge, this is MV Pivot, over. They have started the opening, Captain. Thank you very much. You're okay. I hope you and everyone on board has an enjoyable day. You too, sir. Wow, that was... It was so simple, but it was still exhilarating. Thanks for staying cool, calm, and collected. Yeah. Well, we made it to our next stop of the day. We are at Hontoon Island State Park. We're gonna try to dock ourselves, and our last time docking was not good. So we're gonna go nice and nice and slow. It's the star. Good job. Okay. We just docked at. Hontoon Island State Park and our docking experience went somewhat smoothly. No major hiccups besides my anxiety about it all. And now we're here to take out Ollie, go for a little bit of a walk and get a little bit of exercise. That docking jump, babe. So we actually just found out about this state park. Last night, we were calling uh, calling Bob, uh, trying to get some advice on docking. This is nice. It's so chill, so calm. And uh, the perfect place for us to practice docking again. It should be free to dock here. Uh, and then if you want to dock here overnight, you have power and water, and I think it's like 20 bucks or something. So, very reasonable. Uh, I went in Florida. We already saw our first skater at the park, right over there, sunbathing. So we need to look out for Hontoon Island's venomous trio. Dusky pygmy rattlesnake, the eastern diamondback rattlesnake, and the Florida cottonmouth moccasin. All right, let's watch out. Stay on the path. Trying to keep Ollie close to us, and we just saw a snake. It didn't look like any of the three poisonous ones. It was skinny and like maybe two feet, three feet long. But we're keeping Ollie close, and we're making a lot of noise so the snakes will know we're coming. And it's very muddy, but very pretty. My running shoes were not the best option for this hike. Hiking boots probably would have been better. Oh man, I thought we were done with this stuff. trying to keep track of time because we want to anchor tonight and we want to make sure we have plenty of time to find a good anchorage and uh, set our anchor and make it a little bit more comfortable than Lake George. The crashing waves. Whoa. That's old Florida. Oh, do you see a raccoon back there? No.
That was a really great pit stop. Now we're heading back to the boat and gonna maybe chill for a bit, make sure all he does are business, and then find our anchoring spot for the evening. So that hike was beautiful. We really enjoyed it. We had a, our hiking experiences in Florida have always been really hot because we usually are hiking in the summer. But since it's February and we're hiking in Florida, it was actually the perfect weather. So we really enjoyed the hike um, and we were able to successfully leave the dock. Um, we had another wind for today. And right now we are cruising still south on the St. John's River, but we're in a manatee zone. So we are going at, I think like four knots um, right now. So that way uh, we have a very low wake. We have just passed the Blue Springs Manatee Reserve and now we are coming into our anchorage. I think we found the spot. Somebody else is here, so that's kind of cool. Uh, so we think it's a good spot. We're just trying to make sure we have enough anchor chain out, um, but everything's looking really good. Jen's tying off. What do you think of our home for the night? <laughs> so we are getting better at lowering our dinghy um, thanks to calm water and low winds and a, a gentle tide right now it was a fairly easy process but we are going to try to take Ollie to shore for the first time like in our dinghy so wish <laughs> us luck so we didn't have the camera out for this but I just wanted to let you guys know um, because we're trying to do things for the first time, so we're focusing on doing them instead of filming. And so we just plugged in our, pro this is a propane um, engine that we have for our tender. And I plugged in the bottle and we started hearing and smelling a ton of propane coming out of here. Um, so we thought something might be busted, so we took it apart, tightened, we found out where the propane's coming out of, we tightened it up, and now we don't hear or smell. Oh yeah, I don't smell any propane. So I think we're gonna we're good to go, but we're bringing the tool with us in case we need to tighten it up on the way. It's only a short drive. Okay, we had a successful outing. Now let's hope that we can get back to the boat safely. And the only reason I say that, not to be dramatic, but a lot of things don't go according to plan. <laughs> oh, you gotta knock on wood when you say something like that. Hopefully we'll be starting a tradition with this. Today was a very good day. Now I'm gonna knock on wood because we still need to sleep tonight. And nothing's for sure, but it was a good day. So we are gonna have our first official sundowner. Woohoo! 
And the sun like just went down. It's not like hours later. Yeah, we had some dinghy problems, so Ollie took a little while, while longer. That's okay. We love you, Ollie. Yeah, without further ado, Andre yeah. is very smooth champagne. <laughs> Thanks to the passport couple. Cheers. Cheers. We actually had a good day. Thanks to the help of Ted in the morning. Yes. Thanks to good weather, the uh, gods of the ocean and the wind and the seas. And we're anchored and hopefully we have a good night's sleep. Hopefully. Cheers. Cheers. To our maiden voyage. To our maiden voyage. See you guys tomorrow. All right, Ollie, you're not going swimming here. No way, Jose. I have the wrong lens on for this. I don't know. Let's just, go, let's just not even talk to you. Let's focus. Uh, focus. It's kind of funny. Oh, now she stepped in the. Oh, oh, now you're in the mud. Don't we just film you? Sure. This is zoomed in. Oh. <laughs> I'm ready for a nap. It's 3 p.m. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. What do we you say something like that? I think I heard an echo. <laughs> All right, now where's your bottle? <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> you spilled Andre? That's my bottle now. Should we give it to Ollie? No.